Yo guys, what's going on? It is Burt Crown 88 coming out of the YouTube video, and this video is going to be on the first thing you need to do when you get into NHL 25 Hockey Ultimate Team. This has to be, has to be. It is the most rewarding, the quickest, best way to maximize on your time right out of the gate because that is the most important thing. So what is it? let's look into it if you do like the video guys hit that like button don't forget if you want more videos hit the sub button and notification bell down below so you don't miss any content in the future like much more videos in how to get your first fifty thousand coins what players are better in the team builders what x factors are best best icons everything you need will be in this channel guys so hit that sub button so you don't miss it but what is the first thing you need to do let's go look wild card not only is it a brand new game mode, which I will discuss in another video, breaking down everything you need to know about wildcard. But what we're going to be discussing in this one is why it is the most important thing to get after first. In the rules of wildcard, it is one period, one three minute period, and it doesn't matter the score. If you play on superstar, you get 60 points. The game takes about three and a half, four minutes to complete, and you get 60 points for winning the game. If you lose on Superstar, you still get 30 points. So you're still getting points regardless. And what do those points go towards? They go towards your wild card climb. Now, what is in this wild card climb? We are going to go over everything. But you get packs, you get coins, and you get additional players. Now, these two players, Lindell and Dursey, they get exchanged into an exchange set. So make sure you keep those. Don't get rid of them. And then at the end, you get an X Factor Series 1 player choice pack. Yes, a Series 1 X Factor. If you want to know more about the X Factors, stay tuned for a couple of videos about that. If you want to know more about Series 1 X-Factors and more series and what this means for the future of X-Factors, I will be doing that video shortly, so keep an eye out for that. But this is the progression. You need 2,000 wild card points to climb through. You get 60 per superstar win. You get 100 per online win. So that's how you do those. That's how you get it done. It doesn't matter how many goals you get. It doesn't matter how many trick shots you do. It doesn't matter how many of anything you do. Wins and losses is the only thing that gets you points. So you can win one nothing. You can win 20 nothing. It's only 60 points. Now, with that being said, this isn't the only benefit of wild card. When it comes to wild card, it also helps towards your X p path and why is that important because the xp path is your main source of rewards and you're going to see just by doing wild card i am already level six that is huge because now i've completed the wild card path and the xp path is on its way you're looking in the top corner you see i have fourteen thousand six hundred coins what is all that from wild card i've done nothing else the first thing i the first thing i did is i looked at everything i seen where the best place to start was and i started it i got the wild card done i got fourteen thousand six hundred coins and i've got 21 things in my inbox that i gotta go pick up so let's go take a look at completing the wild card and what is in my inbox from that so the inbox we have sean dersey and we have anton lindell i am going to show you right now what we're going to do with these two cards we're going to go to exchange sets we're going to go right in there we're going to look at wild cards you got 10 days right so we're going to go in here we're going to see what we need to turn in you need to turn in sean dersey lindell and any 84 hut wild card player which you get from your pre-order pack you're going to notice when you turn this in you get sean dersey lindell bnd if you're wondering what BND stands for, it's kind of like non-tradable, but with a catch. BND is not only non-tradable, but it is bound to your account. So that means you cannot use it for other sets. So you'll get your cards back to use them on your team if you need those players on your team, but you can't turn them into other sets. This is a very new and it is very big for some situations like the icon don't miss that video when i drop it because it is informative and very unique when it comes to the icons and x factors when it comes to that bnd but you turn in the two you just got and you get one from the pre-order pack that's your 84 and what do you get in return for that you get a you get the 80 back and you get two 84s one wyatt johnson and one wild card choice starter so that's that's huge 
That there is huge. That's 284s in a very slow progression start to the year. Now, when it comes to everything I have earned from just playing those wild card games, we're going to open it all up now and we're going to take a look at it. So what is it? We've got 70 overall players. There's a 70 overall player and 70s are bronzes. It's okay. We got 76 overall players. We got 72 overall players. Guaranteed NHL player pack. And then we got 74 overall, a vanity pack, 76 overall players, 78 overall players, NHL player booster pack, a mix pack, which is six random items, and then your X Factor Series 1 choice pack. So let's start ripping and seeing what we got. Here's the mix pack. What is a mix pack? It's going to be an assortment of six different things. Here we got a Barracuda jersey. We got a player and we got some okay we're getting players we're getting players and more players okay so players is what it is now remember hang on to these players right out of the gate nobody has coins everything will be selling cheap right out of the gate because of that nhl player booster pack what is an nhl player booster pack well it is okay an nhl player booster pack has an icon in it two icons in it three icons in it i uh i'm a fan of that don't know if you guys are but three icons hendrick zetterberg that's right you heard me right hendrick zetterberg and in case i was too far away when i said it hendrick zetterberg and we got a couple more so that's not a terrible pack at all 78 overall random. In other videos, I will break down why you need to keep these 78 overall randoms. Well, that's an icon. So that's lucky. Don't throw away or don't sell your, your 76s, your 77s, your 78s. Guys, they have a lot of value. Silver players have value this year. Hang on to them until you realize how valuable they are because the market will jump on them when people understand exactly how valuable 76, 77, and 78 overalls. I will be diving into that. Here are just vanity packs, goalies, celebrations, all that stuff. That's what you're going to get out of a vanity pack. Assistant captains, captains, you know, it is what it is. Vanity pack, it's not just a catchy name. It's a pack for design for look for appeal vanity and yes i am saving that x factor pack for last because why not now you're going to notice we're pulling no golds right no golds have been pulled that is because the progression's been dropped there is not very many golds this year at all guys and you're going to notice a lot of cards that they hand out will be silvers but all those silvers have uses 72 overall player bronze what are we going to get Give me something big, 72 overall player, 76 overall player. And remember, I said 76 overall players have value. They do. One, this is an icon, so it's going to be used for the icons. But other than that, there are 76 overalls with a big purpose. So don't quick sell them and don't just throw them on the auction house for 250 coins. This is your 84 overall card that you're going to need to build that set to get the Wyatt Johnson and another one. So just... Keep that in mind. That is that. I'm not opening that in this video. That's going to be a part of my starter video on which cards to take. There's a reason I'm not opening that because you don't want to open all your starter packs first. Keep an eye out what to do with the 4,600 pre-order points because that is very important before you open the starter packs. Now, the meat and potatoes. Why did we play wild card? We played wild card for a choice of one out of eight x factor series ones what did we get in that choice pack we get animations not an open all though we get elias Patterson. my hut video hasn't come out yet on the the like how to get started in hut what to get rolling and everything this is just what to do first when that video drops elias Patterson is the x factor that i got in my starter pack so i'm not going to take him so next Robert Thomas, not bad, not bad. If okay, no bells, no bells. This is who I want. All right, I'm just gonna lay it out there. I want a William Nylander. That's what I want. And I don't know. I'm pretty sure all eight 
are in here and then you get the unique ones so i'm pretty sure i should get william nylander in one of these last three i'm hoping anyway but if i do we know who we're taking x factors are a lot different this year so keep an eye out for that because i'm going to break it down and i'm going to discuss that probably tomorrow but x factors are a lot different this year and i didn't get william nylander that is tough but you're not going to get William Nylander. These are the eight base X factors. And again, wait for the video. We're going to take Nico Hishar. Now, the last thing, one big bonus I wanted to talk about with doing the wild card was you're going to notice that little blue circle. What's that little blue circle for? Well, it's showing you how many things I completed just doing the wild card. Dailies, done. Weeklies, almost done. And you'll notice I'm getting Hut XP here as well. Early access. Almost done. We'll get there though. Sauce passes, lacrosse deke shots. We'll figure it out. Lacrosse deke shot, guys. Just throw total control on and press triangle or Y. You know, depending on the console you're on. Welcome to Hut. Almost done. We just need to perform three more deeks. Take 100 shots. Oh, done. And win one game. That's just a part of the training camp. Get to win one game everywhere, build sets, yada, yada, yada. So, all said and done, what happened? I got a daily hat trick collectible for beating a daily, for completing my daily awards. Oh, well, that's for a set for a different video. We're just going to hang on to that for now. And then we got a bunch of different packs, a bunch of different stuff. I'm going to save that for a different video because, you know, like I said, the 77 overalls have good value, and I'm going to show that then. So don't miss that. Hit the sub button so you don't. 24,000 coins, guys. Tons of players. Bettering my team all off of just playing wild card. Play your wild card first. Get it done. After you do, I have the second thing you need to do, so keep an eye out for that. But first thing, wild card. Enjoy it. Get your coins. Get your XP. Get your packs and have some fun. Thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time, ciao, ciao.